First up is Audi's new A8. The new A8's well-chiseled look give it a corporate elegance one would expect from a car of this class. And the design looks as unfussy as ever. India will get the long wheelbase version and you can expect top-of-the-line motors like the 500 BHP W12 petrol and the 4.2-litre turbo diesel. To crack the super luxury market, the A8 comes armed with Audi's new MMI system. Large, almost throne-like seats that massage and acres of high-quality chrome and wood. Steeped in class and luxury, vice-like grip on the road and effortless performance are what you can expect of Audi's new flagship. Audi's new A7 is clearly the most attractive model from Ingolstadt this year. The four-door coupe is here to take on the likes of the Mercedes CLS and comes prepared with a lighter, torter body. Huge alloys and a roof that's 4cm lower than the A8 give it a fantastic stance. The interior fit and finish is stunning as well. A great fit for the Indian roads would be the road range topping 3-litre supercharged V6 petrol that churns out 295 bhp and a 241 bhp diesel unit. Volkswagen will also be introducing their take on a four-door coupe theme with the Passat CC. Apart from the rakish roofline, its beautifully crafted headlights and layered bumpers give the car a sense of solid craftsmanship. The top-of-the-line variant will be powered by a 3.6-litre V6 producing 280 bhp. The Passat CC may be priced cheaper than the rivals like the BMW 3 Series and Mercedes C-Class, but this Volkswagen will provide larger, sexier profile and a fair bit of excitement. Also ready to hit Volkswagen's showrooms in India will be the new Passat. It's based on the same underpinnings as the outgoing car, although every body panel has been changed. It looks more stylish thanks to a fresh front grille, smarter headlights with LEDs and new taillights at the rear. The interiors have been upgraded and apart from that, there's a host of new technologies to aid driving and improve safety. Under the hood, Volkswagen is offering a 1.4-litre TSI and a 1.6 TDI. We expect the Indian car to carry on with the 1.8 TSI petrol and 2-litre TDI diesel that the current car comes with. You may have to wait a bit for this engine though, as Volkswagen plans to launch it only in February. Honda will be tweaking the Accord 2 in 2011. February will see tweaks in the Honda Accord that include subtle exterior design updates, a new styled front grille, bumper and rear deck lid. Enhanced interior styling and new wheel designs will be additions as well. Engine options are expected to remain the same. However, there can be a slight increase in power and improved fuel economy. Also getting a refresher is Mercedes' second best-selling model in India, the C-Class. Subtle visual upgrades including new headlamps, a more contoured bonnet and reprofile bumpers can be seen. The saloon will get reworked versions of today's four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines. And an optional 7-speed automatic gearbox in place of the current 5-speed unit will be on offer. Mercedes' new MOVE generation of engines may make its way into the facelifted C-Class. Ready to take on the C-Class will be this hot new Volvo S60. It certainly looks stylish and ready to take on the competition. When you get behind the wheel, it doesn't feel very sporting, but it stays true to the Volvo DNA with lots of safety and engineering behind it. The S60 is very well engineered and has a serene feel to it. We expect firepower to come from the 2.4-litre diesel that's in the bigger S80 as well as a 2.0-litre petrol. Volvo say it will be here in the first quarter of 2011 and will be priced between 29 to 41 lakhs. The S60 makes for interesting, funky-looking alternative to the big three. And if you're looking at something with an unbelievable mix of luxury and sportiness, then look no further as the all-new Bentley Continental GT that's headed your way. Though it's similar to the outgoing model, every panel is new. Each line is sharper and tighter. New headlight detailing, a more prominent grille and sharper lines accentuate the voluptuous curves of the old car. The W12-hearted motor pumps an extra 14 bhp and torque is up to 71.3 kgm. The car will be launched around March 2011. A twin-turbo V8 mated to an 8-speed automatic will also be launched in 2011 and should make its way to India. It will all be more attractive 
thanks to a lower price tag. Of course, if you're looking for an out and out sports car, then the new Porsche 911 is it. Code named 991, the heavily re engineered coupe and cabriolet are all set to go on sale in 2011. They will get freshened exterior styling, a higher quality interior, more powerful yet highly fuel efficient six cylinder boxer engine, sharpened dynamics, and a greater list of high end options. There will be a 3.6 litre engine with 365 bhp and 40.7 kgm in the Carrera. It will be joined from the outside by a revised 3.8 litre power plant delivering 415 bhp in the Carrera S. More powerful versions of the Turbo GT3 and GT2 will follow later. The baby Porsche is a 100% driving machine despite being more affordable. It's all set to get more comfortable too now as a slightly extended platform will improve cabin and luggage space. An increase in engine power will follow as well and the car's nose and tail section will also be freshened. One sports car that will surely get a lot of attention in India is the Audi TT Diesel. The stylish looking TT with 168 bhp of diesel power and 35.6 kgm of torque from the 2 litre TDI motor sounds attractive enough. Performance won't be as impressive as the petrol V6 already on sale. However, this will be surprisingly practical and fun and you can use it every day. It'll be frugal as well. You can also expect it to be cheaper by around 5 lakhs. That's a nice sweetener. Don't go away, there's more of 2011 right after this.